I think it depends on you now because I consider you like my family now. All right. So. All right. Give me a fucking oh, break, fucking dude. Gross, man. All right. Golly. It's supposed to be funny, bro. Emotion isn't God, funny. Get off my dick, bro. Ugh, Ugh gross, bro. I'm just going to fart to break up this tension. <laughs> My dad just sent me something. Give me a second. Well, I'm here on the pod. Is it not recording? It's recording, but I'm not. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. We haven't intro it yet. Oh, okay. But we always intro later. Oh, yeah. Can I just tell you what he sent me? Yeah, your dad. He's typing, actually, again. Ooh, hot story. Breaking news coming in. He sent me... Oh, it's actually cute. That's cute. What is it? It was Kelowna Candy Store opens with Willy Wonka inspired moving displays. And I thought that was it. And then he said, wall of 700 lollipops. Probably because he heard us. Oh, that's cute. Talk about the lollipops. That's cute. Or he just loves lollipops. I'm going to say. I hope he's heard about us. Talk about lollipops. I'm going to say, what the heck? What the heck? That's what I'm going to say. What the actual? All right. Welcome to Samurai Do Talking, everybody. I'm Sam. And she's Rye. And we're... And that's Bobby behind the camera. Hey, guys! I hate that guy. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him so much. He is the bane. The bane. <laughs> of what? <laughs> All right, I think I've only got one thing to talk about. All right, what's your, what did your dad say? <laughs> um you wanna oh address? yeah should we show this to the camera if you're if you're listening on audio only because we film now suckers bobby found his camera uh or stinkers not suckers they're not you guys are suckers uh, <laughs> that would have been funny though should we do i just sit like this the whole time we're also gonna work on the pod like we're gonna work on the pod room guys all right it's not done it's yet. not done yet you don't crazies. shit on us for no reason i wonder if you There's can hear that in fly here. in there can you hear the fly like in the audio? It. it should come on the mic. Come on the pod. What do you have to come say? Come on the pod. What that's, do you have to say about Bob, it? That's Bobby's pet. He always brings his flies in here. <laughs> I hate when I he brings his flies. I hate when Bobby brings his flies in here. It always ruins everything. Oh it ruins God. the vibe. There's it ruins so many the flies audio. Always. It ruins everything. It, everything. it distracts me. Um, yeah, I'll so say, what is your, what, like, we both got, we went to uh, a Blink-182 concert, so naturally, uh, <laughs> we got jerseys. Uh, you have a jersey. no sense. You're right, let's you're just not, start you're over. You're just talking for no reason. Okay, well, be quiet, you do um, We went to a thrift store, and we just decided to buy each other hoodies that we'd have to wear, or, like, t-shirts that you'd have to wear on the pod and so sam got me a nickelback jersey yeah (laughs) hell yeah because hockey bro pretty funny hockey bro and then i got you a gray hoodie that says jesus is king jesus is king and my dad's gonna (laughs) love it Uh, yeah i'm trying to win points with him i like how it says jesus is king not like the king no jesus is which kind of makes sense because his name is jesus christ not jesus the christ that's true His, his last name isn't actually christ does Christ mean king? Christ means the Christ, like the son of God. Oh, it doesn't that's actually... That's what Christ means? Okay. I don't know. Look up Christ. What's Jesus' last name then? Um, Smith. No, wait. No, that's Joseph Smith is in his dad. Joseph. I don't, I don't think they had last names back then. Really? Yeah. They didn't come up with last names until like uh, England when there was too many people. Jesus didn't have a formal last name. Yeah. This is really distracting. Can we try and get this I out of here? I think I'm going to kill this fly. Try and get it out. Look, close the door. Close the door. Boom. Success. What an idiot. Success. What an idiot fly. Ooh, hot cup of tea. Ooh. What do you got? What are you uh, going on? <laughs> I'm drinking chocolate milk with a chocolate magic sipper straw. Ooh, nice. <laughs> like I'm drinking actual like chocolate milk. Yeah, I get it. Like not, it's supposed to be for regular milk. It's supposed to be for regular milk, but you're drinking, I'm drinking it chocolate with milk, chocolate with milk. chocolate sipper straw. Does it taste more chocolatey than the chocolate milk that you're drinking? It's super chocolatey. Mm-hmm. It lets milk go up that thing. It looks crimped on both. You sides. would hate it. Um, yeah, it's got holes in it. You're not supposed to cut that. Mm. I thought you had these before. I did, but mine were different. Mine had like little, uh, like it was tube that had a hook that held everything inside of it. 
Like it was, it was hooped at the top all that the way around. No sense. It was like a, <laughs> all right. it doesn't actually matter at all. Uh, they were okay, but eventually they would come out. Like you'd just be chewing on them. You would have loved them actually more than that. You had to cut those open. Why would I like it more? Because you were just, I would just get some of the crystals once they got small enough. They would come through the hole. Mm. Um, I bet you these could. I just didn't get to it. I don't think that that looks pretty crimped. There's holes in it. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, they look like filter holes. No, they're big holes. I bet it's like a Brita filter. They're big only, fat holes. Yeah, you're only gonna get like point zero one. That was my nickname one, in high school. What? Big fat holes. Big fat hole. <laughs> holes. Yeah, it's big fat hole. Holes. Holes. Big fat holes. <laughs> Car's got a lot of fat holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. That's what I used to say. <laughs> and fat hole yup that was you answer i would have no i would have been like it's holes it's holes <laughs> oh sorry yeah yeah you better be yeah there's no s but the s is loud the s is silent the s is loud in my name the the e is long i don't know i'm done the e is plural <laughs> sure keep going <laughs> I thought mine was funny. What are you drinking? I'm drinking hot cup of tea. Hot cup of iced tea. <laughs> um, peach iced tea. You're going to hate it. peach iced tea, yeah. I, I'm going to love it. I love it. Other than that quote. That's the office quote. I know. Other than that quote, um, it's the only time I'll agree with hating iced tea. Peach I iced love, tea. I love peach iced tea. You're going to hate it. Yeah. Uh, bees and Wheeze? Bees and Wheeze. Best part? Concert. Oh, T.W. The week. The concert. Oh. Yeah. Which concert did we go to? <laughs> we went to Blink-182. Hell yeah! Um, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. The drive, every road trip with you goes by so fast. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We have so much fun. We just giggle the whole time. We or ta- or the whole talk time. about podca- the podcast. Yeah. It's really, and I really think fun. it's going well because of this. And another good reason... And another reason we should keep going is... Um... I, I like driving. I, I like listening to music for a while, but then I like driving and either not... No music... Or just and just talking, or even just silent. Like mm-hmm. I find that like I filter through my my thoughts in my in the in the car. Right. I I do that with music on is the yeah. thing. Like I can turn music on and still I'm thinking. I'm not listening to music. Yeah, I can it's do just that too. nice to have like noise. Yeah, we were listening to a lot of Blink One Eighty Two going down there, and I was like, I just need a break. You said that, and I was like, I feel like we played a few songs. Like we didn't even get halfway through the playlist. I know, but I didn't want to. I didn't want it to get too into what you're it like. Used we're to playing be. way too much. I was like, we've been listening to it for like ten minutes. <laughs> it's not been ten. We were listening to it like an hour. I don't think so. We listened to a, a lot of songs. No, you kept skipping them. We listened to like maybe five whole songs. Oh, uh, I get I get in my head that the person listening to like my favorite music hates it. Yeah, I so could I tell. get in my head and I go, you, "It's probably shitty," and I'm gonna, and I just change. I was even fully asking. enjoying it, and yeah. the thing is, is I when I go to a concert, I like to. It's way more fun if you know the music oh, that they're playing. You should have said that. So that's what I was trying to do. Was trying to kind of learn it quickly so that I could get there. But I did learn like the rock show girl at the rock show one. Right. Then I could recognize that one. So yeah. that was cool. Okay. Um, there was some songs. Oh, that the, I didn't you should have said something. That's okay. But again. Like, like last episode or one of the things we were talking about was uh, if someone was just going to open a hatch in yeah. a submarine, you would just let them because you didn't know how to. Yeah. So if somebody's going to sabotage my concert experience, yeah, I, just I really let have to them. assert you for you to myself <laughs> in my head. I assert when it's like needed. You do needed. it. You do it when it's needed. <laughs> not submarine killing me is not needed. <laughs> yeah. You're like, that's fine. Unnecessary. I mean, I'm going to go away. It's, I'm going to go well at some way. point. Might yeah. as well be with now. Yeah, quick. <laughs> might as well be whenever this guy decides. <laughs> I assert when it's necessary. So, um, yeah, and hanging out with your, I got to meet your sister mm-hmm. and your your sister's son, yep. which is your nephew. Con man. Is that the, my that's nephew? It? Yeah. Right. I don't have nephews, nieces, sons, or daughters. So yeah, you're, you're too little. I have to figure that out. You just graduate high school, I think. Yeah, like tomorrow. It took you too long to graduate <laughs> high school. You're in your 20s. Like tomorrow. Um. Yeah, so that was really fun. And hanging out with your dad is always fun. Yeah, dad he's and Kathy. Great. He's, he's getting really old. He's getting real old. But I'm watching my dad get really old. Right I just now. saw him young in those photo albums, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, yeah, real look spry. At that young little guy, real spry." 
handsome man. He very, had, very handsome. He would man. always have extremely, slick back, extremely really handsome, hot, handsome, really man. hot dad. <laughs> <laughs> he would always have slick back uh, hair, like combed black, yeah. like gelled hair. Right. And uh, yeah, business guy. He was always put Maybe together. Maybe he's in the mob. I said that I, I was like, <laughs> you, you have to. Be, I said you have to be like a in the CIA or hitman or something. This has got to be your That's cover. That's really funny because he's like a, supposed to be a CEO and a mm-hmm. vice president of things. He's on the he's on the board of stuff, and uh, and I'm like, you're way too dumb to be that. This has got to. You've got to be. This has got to be like your. You you come in here and act so it's dumb. Your, it's your cover. It's your cover. Yeah, you came into this family and act so dumb, and then you leave and you're like, I just got to do business trips. I'm like, you've got to be like a. You've got to be a spy of some sort. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I know a lot of people trust him. Mm. I was like, I don't know why you cheat all the time. Right. <laughs> he's terrible at games. He he's, hasn't. He's lousy with cheating. Yeah, he hasn't is. cheated around me. No, he, I think we've I think we've beat him down too much. Probably. It's been good. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. Kathy was putting our stickers up around Vancouver. Yeah, we got stickers. Some, we've, we've moved to Vancouver. And your sister was too. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah. We're uh, really spreading the word. We're spreading the word of the bird. A uh, word of the bird. We should cut all this out. If we're in people's <laughs> listeners. The city listeners, they're like, we want, get some, get somewhere. Time is money. Money's time. Money is time. And we're not <laughs> for it. We're not. We're against time. We're going to protest. We're against time or for money. Wrong pronouns. M- Done. Money isn't time. That's offensive. <laughs> Wrong pronouns. <laughs> My pronouns are money bags. My my <laughs> pronouns are money and time. Because <laughs> they're the same. That's me. Because they're the same. And that's what I live by. <laughs> that's what I've always said. Uh, okay. Did you do be, Did you do your worst part? My worst part? Hmm. Oh, you know what else is fun? Stalls. About... <laughs> <laughs> That we went to Ikea. Are we going to do, are we going to talk about this fully or should I get yeah. this out of the way now? No, I think this is best and we're like, what's your best part? We can talk about that. And then we'll talk about the concert Yeah, after. I think you're going to okay, talk about sorry. the concert and stuff. My apologies. Like, what was your best part and what's your worst part? Okay, so best part was the concert with you. Okay, going it to the concert, being at the concert. Being at the concert with you and everything in between. Okay. <laughs> Great. Worst part. I loved looking over at you and you knew all the words and you were so happy and you it said like a hundred times, you're like, this is so fun. It was so and fun. And it was not your like element. Like you're not a concert no, guy. No, I'm not a concert guy. So to see you be like, this is so fun. I was really It happy. looked like the guy that was sitting in front of us was not a concert guy and he seems like he's been to 12 of their concerts. Yeah. Or more. Really funny. And, uh, and he was experiencing all the emotions. So mm-hmm. no, I felt fine. But yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that after. My worst part, I knew it earlier and I forgot. It was too good. It's not one singular part, but I've just the been week. battling my brain this oh, week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've been dealing so, with the depression pretty hard. To, depression, the anxiety. Ang- ang- sh- anxiety. 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 Depression, the anxiety. That ain't no lie. Sorry. I try, I try not to sneeze. That's how you, that's how you try not to sneeze? Yeah. That's I just funny. go like this. Actually, I go, I go, like, I go like this. Because you're trying to sneeze. No, I'm holding it in, <laughs> like this. Or I go like this. I push right here, and I go, do not sneeze. If you bring your nose down, yeah, and then bring your nostril up, <laughs> it closes everything. You know what I mean? I used to be able to close my nose underwater like that. That's crazy. Um, and that's how I would swim. I could go upside down. <laughs> but since I've had nose surgery... Uh, that would scare the shit out of me. I'm just a kid in goggles underneath the water. And that face comes so And I, my eyes are always open underwater. So I'm like, just like be staring at without <laughs> goggles. I feel like, why is this guy so mad at me? <laughs> He's following me around. Uh, what was I saying? I remember what I was saying. Um, that's the worst part of my week. All right. Uh goggles what were we talking about this thing uh oh yeah since my surgery um i can't i can't hold my breath and like and like i have to keep like a a bubble on my nose if i do this if i tilt it um a bubble goes out air or water rushes up my nose since my nose surgery yeah that's what my nose does all the time Mm -hmm. um (laughs) i'm really bad for getting water up my nose i've never been able to 
just swim underwater without my nose plugged. You don't. You just like push air out a little bit. You go. Oh, I have to like fully hum. Hmm. Like I have to go. Hmm. Oh, so you actually have to let go of air the whole time. Yeah. Because humming is letting go of air. So that's, that's funny how you do that. Yeah. You can't just kind of like hold the bubbles. No. That's funny. I get water. Does it make you want to sniff? Does it make you want to sniff? I don't know. I I don't think I've ever been able to do that. Have you ever wanted to breathe water? To know e, what it felt like? Of course. You've felt that already? Wait, I have felt that. Like you've been like, I really wish I could just breathe in. Right I didn't now. mean to do it. Uh-huh. I was actually drinking water. And I breathed in fully wa- oh, like no. water. Yeah. And it was a lot of water. Yeah. And I thought I had to go to the hospital. I thought I was going to die. My lungs felt so wet. Yeah. You and could like, die like crackly. That. Yeah, you could die like that. It was horrible. Especially you've got terrible lungs. Yeah, it hurt real bad. I had to work the rest of the day. No, of course <laughs> that would be bad. You can get secondhand drowning. You can dry, You can die like eight hours later. Yeah, it was bad. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I it, know it's bad. This is a public service announcement. Uh, if you get if you drown a little bit and then you think that you're fine, just be careful. Have someone yeah. watch you because they find those people dead the day later yeah. when they go to sleep. Yeah, because they lay down and then they just drowned a little bit. Mm-hmm. Drowned. Drowned. Especially in kids. Careful with kids. Um. <laughs> best and worst best and worst what's your b and your b my b your weeby my weeby uh my we my <laughs> what <laughs> my my week of what what's a weeby it's a worst and best worst and best okay Bees my and wee- wees. Well, my weebies okay well, can you hear this when i do this yeah that's riley's drink for the listeners to the viewers, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's still quite a bit of chocolate sugar in there. That's what I she thought said. it was chocolate balls. That's what she said. <laughs> I thought it was chocolate balls too. I boom, thought it was. Boom, I thought it was boom. like cereal balls. Me too. Yeah, but they're crisp, uh, just crystals. They're just sugar crystals covered in cocoa powder. Yeah. Powder. Powder. They're covered, they're covered in cocoa, in cocoa powder. powder. The that darn cocoa powder. That darn cocoa powder <laughs> getting in my eyes. It's getting in my lungs. I just want to sniff it. The problem is, I take a little exhale first, <laughs> blow it right in my eyes before I sniff it. When I sniff it, sniff in all that cocoa powder. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? None of my business. None of my business, anyway. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> um, my best part, probably the concert. I, I had a lot of fun at that concert. It was cool to see you walking somewhere confidently. Yeah, I know. And it was like the most people I've ever seen. It yeah, may give me anxiety. I know. And then I was like, I go to the bathroom. Are, are you just going to wait here? Because yeah. you're usually just terrified of everything. Right. And you're like, I'm going to be gone, by the way, when you come back. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Like, I'm like, going to be in that line way over there. I was like, I'm probably just going to go wait in that merch line if that's okay. And you're yeah. like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then when I was walking up to meet you, you were just standing there and you were just kind of like shimmying. Like, <laughs> so it was cool to see how confident you were at like the most ridiculous place. Yeah. There's a lot of people. I've been going to concerts for a real long time. Yeah. Like I'd say, honestly, more than one a year. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the concert? Oh wait, my worst. Let's wrap this up. Worst, yeah. Uh, let's W this B. Um, my worst was my B. I was thinking burst. My burst and my... <laughs> my burst and my word. My burst and my west. <laughs> my worst. My wares. My burst and my wares. burst and my wares. That's what they're called now. Oh my God. Bursts and wares. We're just bastardizing our own podcast now. What's your burst and what's your wares? Hey. What's your burst and wares? It sounds so burst funny. Burst and Burst and wares. Burst and Burst and wares. Burst and, wares. Burst and wares, yeah. Burst and wares. What's your burst and your burst and wares? <laughs> <laughs> that does actually just sound Irish. That's funny. That's really funny. Uh, my worst. I don't know what my worst would be. I know there's got to be one. Give it to me straight, Doc. Hmm. Hmm. Talk to me. Um. Uh, not smoking. <laughs> That's your worst. Yeah, I had a great week. I think I had a great week. Wow. And so my worst would be not smoking, going to a concert, seeing my sister, and then like not having something, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, you were real torn up about it? I didn't know this. I, you I hit hand- it well. I handled it very well. Yeah, but you... the best, the, so one of the best parts of the concert was when that, that loser guy in front of us 
I wanted to be the coolest guy, and he lit up a joint in the thing, which was fun for me. Yeah, you and had he, to sniff it. I, oh, I was just I was, I like, was holding oh, no. my breath. Were you? Oh no, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, but I was like, these are great seats. Good job. <laughs> uh, so that was cool. Uh, no, I, yeah, the worst was just like, I mean, it was. I definitely had to have like a mental energy, which I, I was. Pr- I'm proud of myself. I didn't. I didn't smoke, but that was like the worst part, just not doing that. But that's good. That's that good, really good. Good worst part. You did a really good job. If I didn't know that it was even bothering you. You acted like nothing was going on. Yeah, well, that's how I just was like, I'm not smoking. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. Right. I don't like it. I don't like. I don't want. I don't want my lungs to be what that will be. Yeah. Even the, even if it's great, mm-hmm. because guess what? Drugs are great. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, pe- people don't quit heroin because they. They're like, I'm done. This is awful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, okay, if you're going to quit the thing, as I used to be like, but I really like it. It's like, yeah, I know. of course yeah, you, you like do. it. That's the whole point. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is a, right. Okay. All right. I won't do that then. Yeah. Wow. I'm really proud of you then. Thanks. I don't, like, I don't like wet hair on my neck. It's really, I'm going to be fidgeting a lot with that. Yeah. Girls seem to think that guys care about wet hair. You're always. I like, don't like it. I've had a lot of people be like, really? "Sorry, your the hair's wet. My hair's wet. That's probably weird." I'm like, I do not even. Tell, I can't tell. Maybe it's just girls that I, don't like wet hair. That's right in. It's girls, right in. Sam and Rye do things at gmail dot com. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. Sam and Rye do things at gmail dot com. All right. All right. On everything dot com. Okay, no. No, no. That's not what I was going for. What? <laughs> a Devin Sweeney is what you were. Oh there. no, I didn't do that. You that were was, dipping right into that, it. You that, were that's a natural on your reaction. Way. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to. All right. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Please check us up on Sam and Rye do things at gmail.com. <laughs> fucking idiots. I like this. <laughs> that's how you that's have to, to talk about. You have to yeah. make his, your face like his face. His face doesn't look like that. His eyes are huge. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. But no, you're squinting them. He's the got a re- he's got can. a really wide face. I don't know. His eyes are not squinted at all. Hey, what's up, everybody? That's not how he talks. That's how I do his voice. Great. It's not how he talks. I know. I'm not saying... Yeah. It is what you said. In my mind, it's an exaggerated way of how he talks. All right. That's how you make your voice sound like his. (laughs) You got to be tense. He's really tense when he talks. You're unbelievable. (laughs) Uh, Concert was good. Sorry. Sorry, um, Back to my hair being wet. Oh, your hair being wet. It's fine. I was just going to say that I I really don't like it. It feels gross. It feels like tentacles or something on like stuck to my skin. It's yeah. disgusting to me. Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't like it. Did you know that um, Ursula is not an octopus? Yeah, I did know that. Didn't we? Did, did we you, not you know, address that on the Little Mermaid episode? Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we did. No, it was a joke. Oh. Uh, I was just saying tentacles. But, oh, the whole thing was a joke. Yeah, the whole thing was a joke. You <laughs> are so weird. I just thought, I just remember, I know you like to hear about that. That was a different one. This She's not a squid, though. She's a squid. She's not an octopus. Oh, okay. A lot of people think yeah, because she doesn't have ten, tecle, ten tentacles. Ten tickles. <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> That's a joke. Have you She's heard got that joke? ten tickles. Yeah, I've heard the joke. It's a good joke. It's a better joke than yours. I know. For sure. I know. Anyways, the concert was great. Yeah, concert was great. Uh, you like Blink-182? I do now. Yeah. That was cool to see Travis Barker, eh? Yeah. So I know Travis Barker from <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the from, Kardashians. Which is what I found out about. Yeah, yeah. I only knew him from that. I didn't know what he did. We, I didn't know his job. Yeah. You and were then, saying you're pretty sure that people are there to watch him just because he's on the Kardashians. I didn't say I'm pretty sure. I said I wonder how many people were from there. From Vancouver? Probably a lot. Watching him just for... Like going to that show just because of the Kardashians. That's true. Um... Yeah, I actually found out that he was a drummer on Blink-182 watching the Kardashian show. Yeah. Like two, three seasons in or something. It did was you like, know... he's a drummer. And I was like, what? And did you know Blink-182? Um, I've heard of them. I, okay. I've heard of the band name. And I do. I did know like a few of the songs. Right. The really popular like All the small and things stuff. and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and where are you? Where are you? <laughs> where are you? Where are you? <laughs> And I'm so, so sorry. sorry. Can I sleep? Can I eat tonight? <laughs> Sued. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. We enjoyed it. Go see them. They're great. Then they're going somewhere. I think they're going to go somewhere one day. Uh, they had an opener. I don't remember. I can't remember what they're called. Turnstile. Turnstile. Apparently, they're great. 
<laughs> There's a bunch these guys uh, in front okay. of us just loved Turnstile. They were singing all of their songs. I said one second, oh, but sorry. that's okay. Um, was my chocolate milk too loud? It was really loud. That's why I that's tried okay. to say one second. That's okay. Sorry. What uh, did you say? I was saying Turnstile. They're, the guys right in front of us. Yeah. They were they so, were loving Turnstile. We thought they were there just for Turnstile. They seemed like they were yeah. going to go at yeah. the end of it. Um, the best part of a concert is people watching yeah and seeing the ridiculous stuff that happens so the two people beside us were pretty normal yeah the person right in front of us was pretty normal kind of boring yeah. people but the diagonal from us mm -hmm. was the most insane it was stuff insane. i've ever seen yeah it was really crazy that one guy was going so hard he knew every word every word for turnstile and blink when it is yeah he was like crying Oh my god, it was so funny. Wait, which one? Are you, which one are you the talking about? The blonde one. The blonde. Oh, the blonde. The bleach blonde one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The big guy. That was the really guy. Funny. He was also the guy lighting a joint. Yeah. And uh, and he was just ripping it, turning yeah. around, doing it. Yeah. And I was like, this is the best. Yeah, it was really funny. And then, I was yeah. wondering if he was gonna get caught. I was worried he was gonna get caught. <laughs> They, yeah, it's really hard to catch them. I'd be so they, scared. They, of they doing all that. do it. Like everybody on the floor, especially yeah? everyone on the floor is doing it. Wow, they they're actually smoking? and they're passing it. Yeah, really. Yeah, I didn't think they allowed that anymore. Well, you hide it. People are holding lighters up. You think they just go check? But even like the, uh, yeah, I, I don't, don't think you should be allowed a lighter in right. there. That seems weird. That seems there's a lot of lighters in there. Like I don't know if you can turn a lighter on and then somehow make something that leaves it on and then yeah. throw it on the stage or something. I feel I like know. I'm no fun because they don't, like I have to I have to consciously be like this doesn't seem safe. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Be like, oh, this seems like really A lighter, area. though, like it could burn someone's hair if you're doing this, like waving back yeah. and forth. Tss, tss, fire everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it just, I just thought they like, could all so gather. Like there's so many drunk people. And they would just, I don't know how lighters work. I don't. What? But like you give someone a lighter, you think, okay, they're going to, I guess people, can people bring lighters in there? That's the point. That's what they're doing. They're yeah. bringing, that's their lighter. Yeah. And they what do you think got, it was? They got checked, right? Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah apparently i mean it's not I'm great glad, checking like, they didn't check all my pockets of my bag they checked one pocket i feel like there's like no drugs at like uh taylor swift concerts or is that mm, wrong there, are wrong. they are people doing the same thing yeah. see i don't go to concerts yeah that's great so that's, it, that's pretty much every concert i was gonna say i think that what concerts are supposed to be yeah but uh i thought they wouldn't have let them at, at the arenas and stuff like that right that's cool yeah it's really tough um, when there's a bunch of them around you and you have asthma. And you have asthma. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because they you, say not to do it, but there are people just break the yeah, rules. Yeah, you're not supposed to you're smoke supposed inside. To yeah. Period. But people don't care. Hmm. Um, but as yeah, long the, as you pretend to hide it. <laughs> the guy on the other diagonal from us. So Sad funny guy. too. Sad guy. I only saw him a few times. He but... brought his daughter and she hated yeah, it. Yeah, was it his daughter? I don't know. She looked... Daughter or sex She slave. looked... <laughs> Like 12 years old, but also 30 at the same time. Yeah, like yeah, she, she looked yeah. age, what is that? Autonomous or anonymous or mm -hmm. something? Age anonymous. Like if you even yeah. found out that she was like a 31 year old actress, you'd be like, that's crazy. Like she's gone to Harvard actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. So yeah. I don't know who that was. Yeah, but... she had a tiny head. She looked like a doll. She was like. <laughs> and she was so short. Yeah. I I caught a cause Warren, I saw him walk by with her and she she had like like huge pupils. So I thought I thought she was just loaded. She might have been because she was acting real real weird. weird. She's up and down, and yeah. so I don't know if that was his daughter or something, or if that's I mean, who knows? Who knows? Or good for him. There was that one time at the beginning. <laughs> um, gross. <laughs> I mean, for that's him, that's really gross. For him. That's it really would be messed a good up. Pull. Do you understand what you're saying? I'm not saying she's 12. I'm saying she's 31. You're saying good for him because she's 12. No, if she's 31, good for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it now. You must have some money. I get it now. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> 12? Fuck yeah, bud. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. Good for Wait, you. Wait, no, I'm it's still email. fucked up that Why? you want her to look like a 12-year-old. I don't want her to look like a 12-year-old. You're saying good for you if she's 31 and looks like a 12-year-old. They're him, both bad. I'm saying for him, she was she looked a lot better than him. I don't know if she's... I, think, I don't think she's Oh, so 12-year-olds 12 look better <laughs> is what you're saying. They're hot. 12-year-olds are hot. <laughs> that is literally what you're saying She right wasn't. Now. She wasn't like 
uh, he didn't, he looked, he keep looked, going. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want, do you want to buy another shovel no, from the I'll, shovel store? Stop. You want me to head over to the shovel store so you can keep digging? <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna bail on this. That's probably a good idea. I'm about to I'm call. I'm sure about to call the police. I'm not saying. I don't think that she was 12. Who knows though? Because you said daughter. Yeah, he looked like he could have like a 20 year old daughter. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't think that. I didn't. I thought she was like. I thought she was. Like I don't. I have no. I, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can explain my thoughts. Better. Incriminate. I incriminate. <laughs> Where were you on June 12th? <laughs> on May, June the 11th. On May, June the 11th. <laughs> uh, yeah. Answer me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they were weird. Yeah. Blink-22 is great. Uh, maybe this is the worst part. <laughs> the dad or husband or... Whatever. Robot was um, really funny when he was sitting down. During that one song. Oh, my God. And he looked like he was going to kill himself. Adam's song came on, and I, I told you, I'm like, this song is yeah. like, he wrote it about when he wanted to die or whatever. And so, clearly, this guy just, he was been up the whole time. For hours, he's been screaming. He, he like this, Every this word girl is, is like up jamming. And, this girl's up and down. She's in yeah. and out, trying to move by people, whatever. Mm-hmm. He's worried about her. Otherwise, he's jamming the whole time. Knows yeah. every word. Adam's song comes out. It's a really sad song. And he just sits down. And he just breathes, and he doesn't even look at anything. He doesn't even watch them. But he was just he was I think having he was, a moment of silence. He was experiencing it. I think that song helped him out a lot. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. We should have reached out. Should have reached out. We did put a QR code on the on Rogers Arena. Yeah. So incriminating. If you, if you see incriminating. If you see a QR code when you go to a concert next, that's us. Scan it. Scan it. Because it, it might, might be, be us. us. Yeah. Next time you see a QR code out and about. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's boot. illegal to to cover other QR codes, but it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's legal to put stickers on government buildings, but it sure is fun. <laughs> I just think it's funny that you came up with this idea of just having QR codes yeah. without any anything on it. So you've just been putting them beside like an official sign yeah. that didn't have a QR code. Yeah. Or like a pay meter. Yeah. So it'd be like, Hey, if you need help, it looks like, Hey, if you need help, QR code. It'll be like, call this number. And then there's a QR code beside yeah. it now. Yeah. And it doesn't even see a samurai do <laughs> talking. It's really funny. It's it'd be funny code. to see how many QR code actually clicks we get. Yeah. That would be cool if I could view that. Yeah. We can't view that? No. Oh. Do you think we could view that? Yeah. Nope. Hmm. I just figured with, if they have AI now. I just thought that they'd be able to figure that one out. If you pay for it, you can. But <laughs> oh, I see. We lost that privilege when we don't. When we lost all our money. Yeah. In the war. In the war. Yeah, so the concert was good. <laughs> In the war, yep. Yeah, so the concert was good. I forgot. You found Fallujah. Um, <laughs> yeah. How was Fallujah? It was really expensive. Really cra- it was, <laughs> yeah, actually, that makes sense. That's how we lost all our money. Yeah. Fallujah, um, <laughs> you lost like money in Fallujah. Yeah, you it's a huge eh? gambling ring over there. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, wow, sucked right in. Well, it's nice as the gambling ring again. Yeah, for the war veterans. Yeah. Oh, they brought them back to Fallujah. That's <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. And I was one of them. <laughs> oh, and you're. One That's of them. how I lost all my money. Oh my god. Anyways, um, Travis Barker was on. Real. It was like watching a professional athlete. It was unbelievable. He was so good. Yeah. That one point he put a towel, like the other guy put a towel over his head. Yeah. So his eyes were covered and he drummed like crazy. It was insane. He was, was so, so good. good. Yeah. Mark went over to him and he put a, just a he draped a towel right over his eyes. Yeah. And he Kept never going. missed a beat. Yeah. And he sped up. It, it was, was unbelievable. He's so good. He's and he played one of those songs um like in double speed. Yeah. They were like, we're going to let Travis like decide how, how fast fa- this song goes. Yeah. And then they did it again and way faster. Yeah, and he's they just, just kept going. going. Yeah. And then they raised him and tilted him. Yeah. It was crazy. I love how much they love him. I yeah. think it's funny when he went. My favorite, actually, my favorite part of the, the show was when uh, Mark went over to, he's the bassist. He went over to the drummer and just said, I just want to, I'm just going to feel Travis right yeah, now. Yeah, I just want to feel And he Travis. just stood in front of the drums and Travis went insane. Yeah. That was really cool. It was that really was really cool. cool to see because I I watched them when I was like a little kid. Yeah, I was like a a budding teenager, right? And full of angst and depression, and they were like the best people best people to listen to. Yeah, it was the it was great. Yeah, it was really fun. It was just cool to see that they could still like level the building at mm-hmm. that age and be great. 
Yeah. I couldn't believe how expensive the tickets were for yeah. that far up. Like, yeah. like when I bought them, I was like, I did not think that Blink-182 yeah, was going to have that pricey of tickets. They're great. But they're great, apparently. Well, and they're like, they came back, so they've reunited. Yeah, like, they're true. an older band. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, they had like their, their floor. Usually you have all floor or all seats. Mm-hmm. And they had half and half. They had half seats and then half floor. Right. So that... Like, I felt like it was because if older people wanted to sit, to sit yeah. they could buy those tickets and then the young people could stand because they funny. have new and young fans. Oh, they actually, you can say that if you want just floor or just... I think that that's what they did. You just, you design how the thing goes, how your stage goes and everything like that. Oh, so you have I to see. design the seating. Gotcha. So I'm assuming that they did that for that reason. Right. Can we, so like, like how many people do you need to sell? Like how many people is that? Rogers Arena? Yeah. Like in total? Yeah. Bobby, can you do us a favor and look that up? Send it over to Rise so she can pull it up. Let me see here. 19,700 people. Do you want to know what BC Holy Place crap. is? Holy crap. What? BC Place is 54,500. Wow, really? Yeah. So who plays there? Paul McCartney does. Oh, okay. That Paul show McCartney. was crazy. Yeah. There's so many people there. Is that he the like, Olympics building? That's where like the football people play. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Football people. Football people. <laughs> <laughs> like the BC Lions? Um, Is that what it is? I yeah, I don't know. No. Is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is. That's it where they play? Be. Right there? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, How much did you pay for the tickets? Um, I'm not telling. Was it over a hundred bucks? Yeah. Was it over 200 bucks? Yeah. What's the average price? What do you think? Of a ticket in general? Yeah. Like from any concert? From that concert. From that concert yeah. specifically? I think I got an average price. Oh, so you don't want me to tell me what it is? I think I got a... So average price is over two 250 per ticket? You spent that much money on those tickets? <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Holy crap. So when it comes to concerts, I don't, like I told you that, I don't have a budget. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, is it worth it to me? And then I go, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I click it. I don't know if I've ever said no. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. I only say no to, to concerts. I know you do. I'm not good at going to concerts. I love going to concerts. You want me to list all the concerts I've been to? Uh, I have yeah. a list. Yeah, please. I have a list, a list, yes, a list of all the sluts I've missed, or whatever okay. that thing is. I've never fucked or sucked these sluts, therefore my nuts are fucking pissed. That's <laughs> Bo Burnham's first show. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> I just realized that uh, that uh, Travis Barker and uh, Kanye West were, what, brother-in-laws? Brothers-in-law? I guess. That's weird. Hmm. Mm. Maybe for like a second. I think they broke up too long ago. Travis has only been with Courtney for a little bit. Oh, they knew? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I mean, they just, they just got married. Mm. Um, yeah, not too long ago. Oh, that would have been cool if they all stayed together. And then like right? they just could be like all hanging out. Apparently, Kanye and Travis. Apparently, Kanye is being the worst to Kim. I love Kanye. Poor He's guy. He's the worst. Yeah. He's being so mean. He's Kanye. He's it's got problems. Crazy. He he's he has problems. That's so sad. It's though. really sad. Like he's so good though. <laughs> it's a real bummer. Yeah, he's great. Do you like his new stuff? Uh, Boom. I, what's his new stuff? Exactly. <laughs> I should listen to him more. He's so I lo- good. I love. I like. I guess I like old Kanye. Yeah, everybody yeah. likes old Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like old Kanye? Oh, stronger? Yeah. Great. That sounds good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Old Kanye is like the Old Testament. Everyone seems to be fine with it. Boom. Boom. Religious people just got roasted. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I'm actually think. not sure what you said. <laughs> uh, new Kanye. Not everyone's for it. The Jews. The Jews especially. Yeah. They're getting real mad at him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Just like Kanye. I wasn't even. <laughs> uh, okay. That was not a thing. So they're not uh, brothers-in-law. Nope. Okay. I don't think so. I mean, there might have been some crossover, but I don't think there mm-hmm. was. Um, but yeah, concert was really fun. And um, meeting your sister was fun. Yeah. 
You like my cousin? Or not my cousin, my uh, my nephew? My nephew, yeah. He's what was the, the first best. thing he said to you? Um, well, he gave me a hug and he, I think he said, hey, Rye. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the fact that he calls me Rye is amazing. Yeah, that's, that's so, great. So cute, so funny. But yeah, he's the best. And then he, <laughs> you and your sister were talking and I was just like, there for whatever that conversation was and then i heard him go how's your life and so i turn around and i go oh it's it's good how's yours and he was like a little weird but also a little great <laughs> <laughs> i was like hey how's life yeah that's so a great funny. question to 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 ask anyone when you meet them how's life really funny it's it sounded like he knew me for forever yeah hey how's like, yeah life? we have known each other for a very long time how's life <laughs> you know what not so great since we've last seen each other. <laughs> my wife, she don't by. give me no respect. There's no respect coming my way. <laughs> hey. Hey, no respect. <laughs> I don't even get no respect around here. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, do you have any stuff to talk about? Did we do best and worst? I was going to keep talking about the concert. I feel like you're just skipping over. Is there things you don't want to talk about? Oh, in there? no. I just thought there was nothing else to talk about. What else? Uh, did oh, I thought we just go into detail. That's okay. why I asked earlier if we oh, were great. going into detail. I was going to sure. go like drive, sister, friends, oh, okay. concert, Let's talk sister, about those things then. sister and dad. Sister and dad. Like I was going to go through all of it. Sure. I thought we'd talk about the, we talked about the drive there. The drive there is so fun. It was a lot of fun. Want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And then we went to Ikea. Oh, yeah. Kia, we Kia, Kia. Ikea. Ikea, Ikea, Kia. <laughs> Ikea. <laughs> Do you like the Ikea commercial? Is that an Ikea commercial where she goes, start the car? Yeah. Start the car. Because she thinks she's getting such a good deal. Yeah. I love that commercial. It's a great commercial. I love Ikea. They should bring that commercial back. <laughs> they should bring why don't they reuse commercials they should people really would re- forget or be like oh i love that commercial like, Pepsi. oh i think i've seen that yeah they, no one they don't go back that's at marketing all. baby reuse. reuse reuse and recycle yeah exactly you're wasting your time and money <sighs> such a recycle it's so bad for the environment yeah recycle jokes too recycle jokes recycle ads recycle, recycle everything. literally everything you have yeah not just three things anymore and that rhymes and so now it's my motto what is it? What's your motto? Um, recycle what you have. Yeah. <laughs> so it's your motto. Yeah. <laughs> recycle what you have. So it doesn't go bad. So it doesn't go bad. Recycle what you have so it doesn't go bad. And just like that, it rhymes. <laughs> We're going to have to listen to this back when Bobby edits. Yeah. To see what I actually said. Yeah. Because I don't think that was that. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't think that was it. Uh, um, so drive. Ikea was, Ikea was great. fun. I haven't been to Ikea in forever. Yeah, you were telling me you didn't like Ikea. And I was like, why? And you're like, I guess because um, last time I you went there, you went to the kids place, <laughs> the play place and had to wait for your parents. I didn't say I didn't like Ikea. I just asked. I was like, isn't it the same as Yisk? Because right. because, um, Pewdie- yes. because PewDiePie, <laughs> do you know PewDiePie? Yeah, I know PewDiePie. Um, he's Swedish and mm-hmm. he has outwardly said that ikea is trash yeah it's not good for swedish people so he said that it's like it's che- like made very in China. cheap um like college furniture so it's stuff that not, you don't care if it breaks it's really nice it's not college that's furniture. what he said i didn't i didn't understand the the magic there is that there is like the there is the very cost effective beds and stuff right. like that but there's just nice stuff too yeah they you can they do kitchens now listen i didn't know that yeah know that now <laughs> I will. It was great though, and we, I thought we did a good job, but not spending money. And then we spent a lot of money. Yeah, we went through most of it, and we we're like, we don't need anything. We didn't even grab a bag. Yeah. And then we started grabbing stuff. And yeah, we're we like, fi- we might we need filled a bag. a bag. We might need, we might a, need bag. a bag. And then we might need to hold some more things. <laughs> and then we might need to order something <laughs> and pick it up at the loading zone. <laughs> and then we might need to go get a back. flat cart. <laughs> Get a and go cart. back and get a bag and a flat cart. <laughs> no, it was really nice in there. It was really fun. Yeah. I love the kids section. Yeah. The kids section is the best part. It was a lot of fun. We got we got uh, uh, my kids uh, two stuffies. Yeah, I really wanted that other one, but Which one I did felt you want? judged. Which one? The brown and green dinosaur. Oh, I thought you should get it. I know, but I felt like I was getting judged. I wasn't sure. Judged by what? 
I don't know that I wanted a stuffed animal for the <laughs> podcast room. That I said that would have been funny. It was oh, our colors. You weren't. It didn't sound like you were gung ho. <laughs> I'm sad. I now. said get it. The same thing happened with the towels. I really wanted those towels, <laughs> yeah, but I, I didn't feel like I you, told you to get those towels. I didn't feel like you were really vibing with them. I like those towels a lot. They're probably the nicest towels I've ever seen. Oh my and I was God. like, and I remember saying. It was fifteen dollars each, and I was like, I don't know how much towels cost. That seems like a lot for a towel. Really? I didn't hear you say that. Yeah. No, my yeah. towel, my towels at home, they're like sixty dollars each. Yeah. So I've thought about those towels since then. Before I knew that you were upset that you didn't get them. And, <laughs> I'm not uh, upset. I was just like, oh, that sucks. I know. But uh, uh, I was like, yeah, those are great towels, and I was like, I, I think that towels are like fifty bucks each. Yeah. So yeah, that would be great. Very expensive. Those are that's a really cost effective. They were the towel. softest IKEA, towels. IKEA, the softest, most cost effective. Towel. Most cost effective. Cost effective. Uh, most the cost effective. <laughs> um, I love it. Yeah. And, and they got they got a cafeteria there where they serve you Meatballs. horse meat. Yeah. <laughs> they had an issue. There was a thing that they thought that uh, they had horse meat in their in their meatballs, mm. which I mean it's meat. It's in ball form. It's ball form. What's the difference between a cow what are you gonna and do? a horse? Gonna... What's the difference between a cow and a horse? <laughs> um, the duvet. So let's <laughs> our duvet thing. Yeah. We switched from a king duvet to two <laughs> twins. Yeah. Because you could stick your leg out in the middle. You can stick your leg out in the middle. It's yeah, the best. It's really fun. Yeah. Um, so we got two twin I stick duvets. both my legs out now. Oh, I know. You're just butt is out all the time. No, but I, <laughs> my, I, I, when I go to sleep, uh, it's over my shoulders and my legs go around it. So yeah. the duvet goes really between funny. my knees. It's, it's really so funny. comfortable. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's the best. Um, and then we got two different duvet covers for both of us. Yeah. I think my laptop just died. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. Do you want to put the sticky note back up? No signal. Check out this signal. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. How do you like them signals? Boom. Okay. Anyways. Um, so we got two different duvet covers for both of us. We mm -hmm. got a green and a beige one which is natural because that's that's just us baby that's just us baby deal with it deal with if it you don't like it you can leave you, you can leave deal with it um and you don't then, like it deal with it. <laughs> and then you already had a green banana one and so i wanted a kid's one too so that we could swappy yeah and then be, when they're, when they're washing funny. Them. um so mine's like a bunch of treehouse animals and <laughs> it's so it's green on one side and yellow leaves they're like on the cartoonish other. tree tree house animals and they're all happy they're, they're so just cute like helping each other build a fire it seriously makes me so tent. happy looking at those it's really funny i wanted the bears holding hands originally because yeah. that was so funny to me yeah that they're just bears holding hands all over <laughs> but this was like a two-tone green and yellow yeah one. green and yellow on the like other one, one side the other one i don't think it was like reversible it's just like a color on the other side also way to go ikea they have actual duvets which you're not gonna like us vegans i like the real duvets sam likes the real one i like the real duvets what can i say that down baby. i want you to skin sam's it. down with the down baby. i don't care what you do with the duck just skin it and put it in this bag for me skin it? imagine there was actual skin, skin. <laughs> That's what the duvet material is That's the made cushion of. part. <laughs> the, yeah. That's why it's so cushiony. That's why it's so cushiony. It's actually the flesh. <laughs> the blubber. <laughs> That's what the uh, weighted blankets are made out of. <laughs> the bones. Yeah, the bones. <laughs> Just bones and blubber. Why does it feel like sand or like mm. grainy, crushed up bones? <laughs> that's real duck <laughs> weighted blanket. That's uh, That's rare. You that can sm real really duck smell the duck. Blanket. You can really smell the duck. Especially when it heats up. <laughs> See, it's, fucking it's gross. a heated blanket. <laughs> just it's a smell. heated duck. Real heated real duck, duck blanket. Duck blanket. <laughs> smells great. Smells. Ugh. Smells like, smells like of, Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> reminds me of my grandmother. Because <laughs> of the bones? No, the way that smelled. Because <laughs> of the bones. Bag of bones? She's a bag of bones. <laughs> So we called her really skinny that's what we call her um okay so um, we were ikea ikea oh so yeah duvet what other good things are uh, the whole the whole kid section's great i got new new uh 
new um, dishes and stuff like that for the kids. Yeah, they, those are great. And they were like two bucks each. It's insane. It that insane. place is insane. You know, Modern Family. <laughs> I think I told you this, but Cam. He goes to Costco. Cam and Mitch go to Costco. Yeah. And then Mitch is like pompous because he's from the city. <laughs> he's a city boy. And he's like, since when have we bought diapers at Costco? Cam's like, since we got that baby since 12 months baby. ago. Um, but then they go there and Mitch is finding all these fun. He's like, this is the paper shredder I wanted. And it's so cheap here. <laughs> and then he's like, Cam, what is this what place? What is this place? <laughs> That's what I felt like. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Sam, what is this what place? Is this place? <laughs> it has everything. It has all For of our so colors. For so cheap. Really cheap. Insanely yeah, cheap. We're go- we have new curtains that we're going to put up. Uh, so the um, uh, Le Chateau, what is it called? Um, Chase Lounge. The Chase Lounge. So the Chase Lounge, um, it really ties it together. Yeah. We got some. We got some curtains. Yeah. To make this look better. Yeah. This whole. This will look better. Eventually. This little bag of bones this here. Bag of bones here. <laughs> look better. Soon. Dress her up. <laughs> Dress her up. In a pair of khakis and. Khakis. That's the color of the curtains. I yeah. don't know. That's how you say car keys in uh, in Boston. Khakis, ca- khakis. 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 That's funny. Macaques. 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 That's how I always go into Boston. Macaques. Macaques. That's disgusting, Sam. <laughs> How's it going? I can only do uh, uh, Mark Wahlberg. Say hi to mother for me. Say hi to your mother for me, okay? Say hi to your mother for me, okay? <laughs> your dog, I like that. Yeah, we walked to a restaurant, met up with my my frenzies. Yeah. And then we went to. Did you like the Mexican restaurant? Uh, How'd you feel about it? I wasn't a fan of the Mexican restaurant. Yeah, I didn't understand anything was, on the menu. I mean, we were in Yale Town. All in Spanish. We were in Yale t- in Yale Town. I was like, "What?" Am Viva I in reading? Yale Town. I saw Caesar salad, and then I was like, "All right." Yes. Something I know how to read. <laughs> I think Caesar salad. The Greeks do it well. <laughs> <laughs> the Greeks do the it. The Greeks well. do it right. Let's see how these guys do it. I'll take a Mexican Caesar salad. <laughs> Uh, no, it was good. I I didn't I couldn't have onions. I probably couldn't have had the other stuff, but I was like, yeah. I probably can have some of this. Mm-hmm. And uh, but it was it was good. Yeah, it tasted good. Like my I ordered salad two was I ordered good. two tacos, and they were just like these tiny They're things, so which were so and funny. Cute. Uh, I thought it was a comical amount of food to order. It was very funny, especially since they brought me a big plate. And did you like know that they were going to be that small? I did not know it's going to be that small. That's it's so a taco. funny. Me it's neither. A tacos. Yeah, it's a tacos. What, how many? Is it two tacos? They and were literally. Here's t- are the types of tacos. P- picked any two of them. They were two bite tacos. Is what they were. Yeah, and then he said, he said, do you want um, onions or do you want on- yeah, do you want onions or guacamole for an extra cost? And I went, no thanks. Yeah. And which onions for an extra cost? Weird. Is anyone charging for onions? Yeah, that's weird. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was just like a slot on the thing, and that was what it looked like. <laughs> like there was there was nothing. It was really funny. It was really funny. But yeah, it was okay. It was okay. It ta- it did taste good. It was expensive, and I didn't understand the menu. It was my only qualms. Yeah, it was really expensive. <laughs> um, but then we walked to the show. That mm. was fun. Mm-hmm. You got to see me be confident for once in my that entire was fun. life. Yeah, we'll go back to another concert. <laughs> Can't wait. We're gonna go to Anthony Jeselnik. Oh yeah, and we're gonna go counts. see Matt Reif. And Matt Reif. Yeah, Anthony. Je- I'm excited for Anthony Jeselnik. I'm excited for both. It's funny he never went by Tony Jeselnik. Yeah, he Anthony went, Anthony. Jessel- Anthony, An- call- Anthony Jesselneck's hard to say. This is Tony. Uh, call me Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> this is my buddy Tones. Call me Anthony. You can call me Anthony. <laughs> uh, my sister. Yeah, we went back, hung out with your sister. You played Wii. I had to go to bed. I was so zonked. Yeah. I was so zonked. So I can't zonked. even believe it. I couldn't even tell you how zonked I was. You were so zonked. Um, and then woke up in the morning. Quarter to five. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. And you can only do like 11 seconds of that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, and then we walk to the breakfast place mm-hmm. with your faja. My faja. Your kashi. Yes. And My your kashi. shisha. Yeah. And kana. Yeah, she started not feeling well and he left. Yeah. I don't know why he wasn't. I think my bet he just wanted to go back to bed because it's his birthday. Yeah. I'm peacing out. Maybe. 
it was cool to see him as like a like an old teenager now. Mm-hmm. I knew him as a little baby, mm-hmm. uh, and now he just he's got a mustache. Yeah, <laughs> and he smells like feet. <laughs> I didn't get that. I didn't pick up on that. Yeah, no, he doesn't okay. smell like feet anymore. That's good. <laughs> We've even gone further. Well, he's so old now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What did you think of the breakfast place? Uh, it was good. It was all right. Yeah. I wish I got more toast. I know. Yeah. That was funny. In Yaltown, we have very small slices. We do not do carbs in Yaltown. I, you know, you do not get two slices when you order a second slice of toast. <laughs> in Yaltown. Wait, what? <laughs> you do not get two slices when you've ordered a second slice of toast? Yes. A new slice of toast. Like I ordered, I ordered, I, I don't know. You ordered okay. a side of toast. I ordered a side of toast. And it came with one toast. It came with one toast. And I was like, that, it comes with one piece of toast. <laughs> and you order a side of toast. For two eggs. Yeah. I'm used to Denny's, baby. Yeah, I know. It's Unlimited like, here's, toast. here's the loaf. Here's the loaf. Let me know if you need more. <laughs> How many eggs? How many eggs? How many bacon? <laughs> How many of everything do you want? How many, how many grand slams do you need? <laughs> triple do you want a double do you want a quadruple i thought the Whatever. crepes and the berries were really good at that crepes place. are really good yeah the berries were fresh I, I just really wanted a lot of breakfast so i was happy yeah. other than having enough to muff it up but i mean i got i got crepes with it so i wasn't really that That's upset true. I just, it was an inconvenience yeah but i used the bacon as a as a lift of egg mm-hmm. to my face yeah I'm, me too i love eggs I did that too your dad ordered a hot chocolate with whipped cream <laughs> yeah he did that was so funny <laughs> they brought when they brought it to the table they brought it to connor yeah like the kid yeah they brought it to like our side <laughs> yeah they're, they're like, like who has the, who hot, has chocolate? the hot chocolate and my dad like it's right here dad your dad and Kathy put it down like, right here over here that's us <laughs> the man hunched over is going to have the hot chocolate like oh good he just started who, eating. which which one of you has the whipped cream <laughs> he just started eating the whipped cream down that guy loves dairy. It was really funny. He, he could talk about how much he loves ice cream. Yeah, for a I've while. heard that he's an ice cream connoisseur. Yeah, he 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 feels ice cream like a little Nona would feel <laughs> uh, a melon before she bought it. That's really funny. He's, he's just like, this has been frozen. This has been unfrozen <laughs> and refrozen. Yeah, he's like, this is not good. You'll not, not enjoy good. This. No, he is not a fan of the ice dessert. He's like, it's not real ice cream. Yeah, it's not. He used to take me to this dairy place and we would get milkshakes. He loves milkshakes. That's mm. his That's his alcohol. So does and my brother. That guy is so unhealthy and he needs to not eat milkshakes and he just loves milkshakes. What are you going to do what at that point, do? you know? Eat milkshakes. Eat milkshakes. Until you die. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Oh, you won't. You okay. want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to eat milkshakes. Why? Why? Because I want to. <laughs> Because something happened in my childhood, childhood. <laughs> that made me want to have milkshakes. What? I'm, I'm not, not telling. telling. <laughs> <laughs> that's Crystalia. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's I Crystalia. just thought it'd be really frustrating if we did that. And yeah, that's like, Crystalia. What? We're doing a bit. What was that? What was that? That's what they would have said. Was uh... I get mad at them? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Um, and then we yes. went. <laughs> because. <laughs> Something happened. Something happened. <laughs> um, then we drove back. Yeah. And it was a great drive. And what did we do right when we started driving back? I forgot. It's the first thing we did when we, when we left. We, we left the city and we we're like, we're gone. See you later, city. And then we stopped at... What come road? Ikea. Oh. Baby. <laughs> I was like, are you trying to make fun of the name of the road? No. Oh, Whatcom yeah. Whatcom Road. Oh, yeah. We could do a lot of that. Yeah. Whatcom Road. Yeah. There's a lot of funny. weird roads on the way there. Um. Yeah. We went to Ikea. We went back to Ikea because mm-hmm. uh, you needed more stuff more stuff <laughs> and then we were like we're like we'll just grab it and go it's yeah. not it's not gonna be like we're not gonna do a lot and then we're like should we just walk through a little bit of it yeah and we're like okay let's walk through a little. and then we're like wait i think the section i want to see is back that way yeah so we just walked through we the walked whole through the thing whole thing again yeah <laughs> we were gonna start just at the merchandise place and just grab the one thing that i think yeah. we needed yeah which just was like a part part yeah. yeah um and uh yeah, I don't remember what part I needed. I can't even remember what we were doing. Uh, the the metal piece for oh, the... Oh, yeah, for the bed. For the bed, yeah. yeah. 
Um, but yeah, we, we filled a bag again. <laughs> it went, it escalated so quickly. It was really funny. Yeah, I was like, I'm so glad we're not buying anything at Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> so glad we're in and out. <laughs> we're just going to be in and out of this place. <laughs> yeah, and it's upsetting that I didn't have like a bigger thing, like a bed, than what we got. I know. I, can't, I don't even notice what we got. I know, it's, it's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> it just evaporated into the house. This is why you shouldn't let me buy things. If we bought those towels, I would have noticed. Mm. Yeah, you're right. We would have. You would have noticed. Totally would have noticed. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But go yeah. to IKEA later next time we go. <laughs> Again, because that's what we always do. It's the best. That's now a ritual. You're in Vancouver. Yeah, it's a ritual. For Is it sure. a ritual? No, you're in Vancouver. You gotta stock up at IKEA. You gotta yeah. stock up of IKEA at IKEA when you're yeah, there for because sure. they charge for shipping ridiculous amounts. I looked it up because I didn't believe you. Yeah. It was thirteen dollars to ship those towels. It was more expensive than the towels, basically. Yeah, that's insane. If you want a, some furniture, it's like okay, eight hundred dollars for shipping. Cheapers, yeah. creepers. Unless you get it shipped to Kelowna, and then but you can pick it up in Kelowna. How expensive is it there? Still expensive. Oh, I thought but you were not be as like expensive. Free shipping in Kelowna. But not as no. But not as. Wouldn't it have been funny if you only did it for 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> but not but as. as. <laughs> what movie is that from? Dumb and Dumber 2. Oh, funny. Dumber, Dumb and Dumber or whatever it is. Right. I don't think I ever saw... Oh, Dumb and Dumber. Or no, is it Dumb and Dumber 2? I don't know what it's called. The second Dumb and Dumber with Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with Jim Carrey. I have not seen that. I didn't you wanna, haven't seen it? No, I, I didn't want to ruin the first one. Yeah, people are like so pompous about it, but yeah. it's like... It's still funny. Yeah, it's I'll, still dumb and dumber. We should we should watch it. I also we just, definitely I also watch just that. stopped watching movies. I haven't watched a movie forever that yeah, you I haven't know. made me watch. But this one's just you don't have to be paying attention that much. It's so funny. Oh, let's watch it then. That's so do you know what happens in that first scene then? Or no. if, or if you just heard it from me. Just from you. That's so funny. The very first scene, um, the blonde one is Lloyd or Harry. Yeah. That's Harry. Harry. Harry is going to visit someone in like a nursing home or like a whatever mm -hmm. crazy person home type thing. And uh, I'm going to get canceled for that. What? Crazy person home. <laughs> we'll bleep it out. We'll bleep Bobby, it out. bleep it out. Um, so like an insane asylum or something yeah. like that. And he goes up to Lloyd and Lloyd's in a wheelchair sitting there like blank stare and doesn't move and doesn't talk. Mm -hmm. And he's like changing his catheter and stuff for him. And like, so he's like emptying out the pee and whatever he's taking care of him. And then he goes, so Lloyd, like I gotta tell you, this gotta be my last day and whatever. <laughs> like I can't come see you anymore and keep taking care of you. Like I have to move on. And then he starts walking away <laughs> and then Jim, Jim Gary goes, <laughs> And then he turns around. He's like, what? And he goes, gotcha. <laughs> and he's like, you've been pretending to be in a wheelchair and not talking or moving for 20 years. <laughs> and, he, and he's like, yup. And then he goes, wouldn't it have been funny if you just stopped after like, I don't know, 10 years? And he's like, yeah, but not as. <laughs> That's the very first scene. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, let's watch it. Yeah, we should. I'll find it. Um, yeah, and that's the entire that's the concert the experience. Thing. Yeah. Experience. Experience. Oh, and I had a quiz and an exam, and I destroyed them both. Nice Boom. job. So proud of you. Boom. Just, just, to, just to pay for some things before the podcast kicks up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine, though. That's fine. That's fine. It's, it's a, a good off. career. It's a write-off. <laughs> um, that's it. Do you have anything you want to talk about? No. What time are we at? Um, probably time to wrap it up soon. Do you have anything you want to talk about? I got nothing. Do you, Do you have, have something? Uh, I have one, I have one thing. Okay. Um, well, I have one thing, funny thing, and then I have one thing to ask you. Oh. Is that okay? I love a good question. <laughs> uh, uh, so I was, um, you know, Wrexham, uh, soccer club, the Wrexham, the football league. The thing? Brian Reynolds Brian Reynolds thing? guys. Okay. Uh, so you know that they were like a low level, mm -hmm. uh, team. And they have they just won their season, which no one saw coming. Okay. And uh, so they now they've gone to the next one. Anyway, they're doing like a U.S. tour, and the uh, the U.S. national women's soccer team was trying to fight for equal pay mm -hmm. from the men's U.S. soccer team. Mm -hmm. And so they're I'm like following. they're like we're as good as men, whatever. We need this anyway. Rexham's coming in, 
And they're like, we'll destroy Wrexham. So the U.S. women's soccer team said, we'll destroy Wrexham. Started shit talking Ryan Reynolds and Ryan McElhaney. Okay. And uh, and and then uh, so they ended up playing. And <laughs> do you want to guess the score? Oh, I think you told me the score Did before. I? This There's... is something else. This was so the I was thinking I was telling you about um, the Australian women's soccer team. They played eleven year olds and lost like fourteen oh, okay. to one. Okay, score was. So this is the U.S. national eighteen to two. Uh, close. Really? Twelve nothing for Wrexham. Mm, yeah, <laughs> this that is makes pretty funny. Sense. So they got destroyed. Bummer. That was funny. That's funny, but it also makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a bummer though that they. What that's are you gonna like, do? What are you gonna do? Um, anyway, so that was a funny thing. I wanted to tell you. Very funny. Thanks. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you was, um, Paisley and Poppy are wanting to have sleepovers and I'm having to figure out how to deal with that. And I was just wondering if you have have any like sleepover issues, like you're a sleepover issues as a kid. Cause I know you have some cousins that still, they're like 20 and they will not have a sleepover. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got homesick all the time. Mm-hmm. I used to get up and cry. And then the mom of whoever, like, was there, like, I remember mums consoling me and then watching TV with me in the middle of the night at like two in the morning Oh, that because sucks. I would just cry. They wouldn't just call your mom. It was just so late and they were like trying to just get me to feel better. And so that like, I'd be there in the morning with everybody. Right. Like they wanted me to have a good time too. Yeah. And my mom's probably sleeping. So it's just like. And what were you doing? Just crying? I would just cry and be like, I miss my mom. <laughs> you just couldn't stop crying? Yeah. Oh, so I did sad. that at camp once too. I went to a, <laughs> like a three day camp or something. I don't even think it was a week. Yeah. Maybe it was, but I don't think it was. Um, and I just cried every day. <laughs> <laughs> I cried every single day. They let me call my mom at one point and she was like, I'm not coming to pick you up. You need like, it's okay. You're going to be okay. <laughs> and I was like, that sucks, dude. Yeah. I just cried every day. And then you continued to cry every day? Yeah. I don't even think I did many of the activities because I was just crying the whole time. Oh, man. Like, I didn't go and rock never, climbing. And it never got better? No, it did get better. Like, I started sleeping over in high school and I was okay. Yeah. Um, I'd still get homesick if I was away for too long. Yeah. Like, if I went... More than three days? If I went somewhere, like, on some sort of trip for more than a few days, then yeah. I right. was, I'd get really homesick. You want to get back home? Yeah. I went on a trip to Europe mm-hmm. for 10 days with like my class, like people, like friends in my grade. Yeah. And um, I was crying every night. Oh, really? And that was when I was in grade 12. Do you quiet cry or do you loud cry? I quiet cried, but my friend Rachel, she was outwardly crying so it made me feel like i could outwardly cry as well with her so we did that a couple times you cried together yeah and then she would facetime her parents and stuff because she brought like an ipad or something um okay and then i think i got to facetime like my family a couple times but yeah every time i facetime them i would cry so i was like i don't want to facetime them because i'm just gonna cry more (laughs) but yeah i cried lots that's so funny so that's the longest you've ever been away from home i think so unless you count being at your house. Red flag. <laughs> a bit of a red flag. A bit of a concerning thing I should think about. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Would you still be like that, do you think? Like, do you think um, if you were to travel? I think that I consider or, or you... Or move out of the different... Like, if you weren't even in the same city as your parents. So I think that if I'm... The, it, I think it depends on you now because I consider you like my family now. All right. So. All right. <laughs> give me a fucking oh, break, fucking dude. Gross, man. All right. Golly. It's supposed to be funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Emotion isn't God, funny. Get off my dick, bro. Ugh, Ugh gross, bro. <laughs> I'm just going to fart to break up this tension. <laughs> um. So if I was away from you and my family like yeah. i think that that would be really hard right because i don't want to be away from like family right you know that makes sense yeah that that sounds nice <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> to be near family all the time that sounds nice yeah 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 that'd be cool all my family's scattered 
Yeah, that's crazy. My family used to be scattered until they all died on that. <laughs> the scattered ones nope, died. Now pretty condensed. Now, pretty condensed. now it's all in Kamloops. <laughs> wow. Have you guys been murdering them? <laughs> I don't know. I'll never tell. I'll never tell. <laughs> Didn't you have a question? Yeah, sleepover issues. Oh, sleepover issues. You never right. want to be away from their fam- your what family. Are you, what so, are you nervous about? Oh, I'm nervous about what well, I, I still want to hear. Do you have more things, like more funny things from uh, you sleeping over? I'm just thinking about Paisley and I'm thinking, um, like, so she has a lot of issues with, like, she, we tried to sleep over once and with her cousin here. And like her cousin came she, here. Her cousin came here and Paisley had a panic attack. And was crying so much that I had to call the, the, the girl's mom to pick her up and just go home because she couldn't sleep because basically was just crying and couldn't be consoled. Oh, man. And so it's like you kept, you kept calling your mom and being like, pick me up. I'm done. The ladies would st- sleep over with you or would like stay up with you watching TV or whatever. Yeah. Um, is that something that I shouldn't like? Should I speaking for someone that went through that? Well, what, what should I do with this little girl? Should I encourage her just to fight her fears? Or should I just go, yeah, come on home. Encourage her to fight her fears. If she can't fight those little battles, she's mm-hmm. not going to fight anything. Um, if you're scared, that means you want to do it. So you need to. that means you need to do it more. Yeah. So she needs to learn to not say that I'm scared to you because I'm scared should mean that you're going to force her to do it. Right. That's what I did. That's right. what, how I learned. And if I, if I was never told that, if I was never forced to do things when I was scared, um, I would not have gotten a job at, ever. Like I would have not been able to do that. I would have not been able to call the pharmacy to get my prescription refilled. Right. Like I would literally be on probably health benefits because I have such bad anxiety. Right. That's the only thing that throughout childhood was consistent was if you're scared, you have to do it now. Who told you that? My mom. Oh, that's a good lesson. Yeah. If you're scared, it means you actually want to do it and that you want whatever is going to come out of this, whether it's just good for you and you don't want to do it is the thing. Like, just you got to get through that. So, yeah, that's my advice. That's cute. Yeah. Um, Anything weird happen at sleepovers? Um, I sometimes would starve myself because I was scared to eat. Like you were weird. You, you were scared to eat their food? Yeah. Oh, well, you're kind of still that way. Yeah, I get scared that like even if it's something that I like, that they're going to make it different and I'm mm-hmm. not going to like it the way they make it. Oh, it's going to be like dry experience? or like many times. Like what? What was the worst one? <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't think of anything crazy, That's but funny. like like hamburgers a lot of the times are cooked way different yeah. every single time like yeah. it's never the same burger unless ha- it's at I had my a, house another lady's eggs once and it was the worst right yeah it was all water it was all runny and i went i started oh i think i had a panic attack oh i also had, did not do well with sleepovers for a little while wow um yeah it was weird i don't know i was just scared of other people mm-hmm. and so one lady it was an old lady that scared the shit out of me <sighs> And I went upstairs and I had to walk up like five flights of stairs to go to the bathroom because we slept in the basement and their only bathroom was at the top floor. That's crazy. And so, and there was like, it was a deep basement. And so I just was like walking upstairs forever in the dark. (laughs) And I I got up, went to the bathroom, opened the door and this old lady was just standing there looking at me and she was just like, (laughs) (laughs) I just fucking just started bawling. (laughs) <laughs> and then she was like, I just used the bathroom. And so I'm like, I'm not scared because I'm scared. I was terrified. So I started crying. But I, then I just was like, I don't want to stay here anymore. I knew it was his grandma because I heard about her. But that's also terrifying. I never seen her. Oh my God. And so I was like, oh, yes, there's. Oh, and just so you know, his, her grandmother lives upstairs. You might see her in the middle <laughs> of the night when you come out of the room. Anyway, I started bawling, That's sad. and the lady had to call my uh, my mom. She mm-hmm. came pick me up, That's and sad. this kid uh, had this um, poor kid. He had this gigantic mole right here, like on his whole face right mm-hmm. here. Poor kid, fun kid, <laughs> played hockey with him, uh, and yeah, I, I, I think that was a I think that was the biggest problem. I think other than that, I'd never had to go home, mm-hmm. and I would just stick it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wasn't good at sticking it out. I yeah. mean, like, 
I had to, but I would just cry the whole time. So would your mom tell you that when you called her to say, bring me home, go get Yeah, if I ever did that. Yeah. I did that in grade eight once with the alcohol, first alcohol party. Right. Um, I called her and she said, stay for a little bit. She's like, I'll come pick you up later, but stay for a little bit and try to have fun. So she forced me like every time to stay and just try to have fun. She's like, you don't have to drink anything. That's funny. So stop freaking out. I was just scared. I was like, the cops are going to show up. (laughs) We're all going to get arrested. (laughs) I only went to like one alcohol party and it wasn't until I was like 19. And it was for a New Year's party. I wasn't drinking. So I just drank water or something. And there's a whole party going on. I didn't think I was allowed to leave the spot. So I just sat at the table the whole time. I just drank my water until the end of the night. (laughs) I probably looked like the weirdest guy. Yeah. Yeah. I did not like those places. That's really funny. But at that age, I didn't have a parent to come pick me up. (laughs) So I was like, I just got to sit here. Right. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Later, I've learned that I can just leave parties. I don't want to go. I don't want to be. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Especially when you have a car now. Yeah. And stuff. And yeah. your own home to go to. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, you think I should just encourage Paisley to to do all this stuff? Yeah. If you reward her every time she's scared, she's going to... It's like a dog. Yeah. When they're scared and you're petting them, you're like, good job. Good job for being scared. <laughs> but everybody wants to do it to babies and everything. But it's like... There's lightning. <laughs> and they're like, I'm so good at being scared of lightning. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get... Pets. Oh, I can't wait to get petted by. To get I'm gonna scared. start shaking now, even though I'm not even scared. Now. I can feel it in the air. I'm I bet not even... I bet it's gonna start storming. I'm not even scared, but I'm just gonna shake so I get oh, no. pets. Tail between the legs. You hate that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't resist. You can't resist consoling me. <laughs> yeah, that's what kids do too. Yeah, that's kids do too. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. When it starts, could be lightning. They start shaking. If they let me get away with everything that I was scared of, like not having to do it, yeah, I would have easily become an adult that has yeah. an escape road every it's really time. it's really hard because like all you want to do is like be your kid's best friend and then you forget yeah. that you have to like be okay with them being upset with you with yeah. enforcing some rules and stuff like that mm-hmm. and uh but honestly i don't think she's gonna be upset by that no she's not she's never upset she's by gonna it. she's gonna wake up in the morning feeling like be a daddy <laughs> And she's going to be glad that she's hanging out with her friends again in the morning. Yeah. Like, it, it's not going to last that long. So you can't respond to, like, the immediate anxiety of it. Yeah. And it definitely gets better um, the more and more I, you kind of encourage yeah. her to do it. Her swimming lessons uh, went way better by the end. Mm-hmm. It's like she didn't even swim for the first, like, three, four sessions of it. Yeah. Poor thing. Um, but she's otherwise, she's dealing with uh, her mental health pretty good, which is mm-hmm. nice. And that's been Sam and Ride do, do Kids. kids. <laughs> do children. Riley, sorry, is do children. Oh, sorry. Sam, Sam and Ride do, do children. children. Anyways. Oh, that's not good. That's not good to have audio recorded and video recorded. Why? Just for later. Just for later. <laughs> what time are we at um we're we're, we can wrap up uh are we uh, done zo one zo sure done zo one zo all right that's it that was fun that was fun (laughs) what else did you want to say did you have fun i had a lot of fun you seem like you had a lot of fun (laughs) i'm rating your energy right now your energy i'm rating your energy you're rating my energy uh okay Um, i'm gonna wrap it up is there anything else you want to say not a thing Nothing? Not a thing. Nothing at all? Not a single thing. Not a single thing. This chocolate milk was really I'm good. I'm Michael Kane. I'm proud, I'm proud of that invention. Not a single thing. That's a good invention. What chocolate that? milk with chocolate straw. Chocolate milk with chocolate Boom. straw is a good invention. <gasps> Boom. Boom. They okay. can just easily put the milk thing in like a little Tetra pack with the crystals in it. That'd be a fun little snack drink. New business idea. Move on it. Everyone. Write that down. Write it down. Sneakers, I'm not going <laughs> to. Someone prototype it and send prototype it to it. us. Yeah, we we'll do all the work. Um, our now. address is... <laughs> <laughs> SamuraiDoTalking at gmail.com. Samurai do things. Oh, shit. 
Samurai do things at gmail.com. Samurai do things. Should we have, well, we also have Samurai do talking at gmail.com just don't in case, them. right? Don't tell But it's them. a fail safe Shh. because some people don't Shh. know what our email is. Shh. But it is a fail safe. Shh. And you get to talk to Bobby, I think. Samurai it's just Easter egg. do things. At gmail.com. And on Instagram and Facebook and, and Patreon. Patreon. And guess what, guys? Guess what? There's so much good content on Patreon There's right now. so much good content on it's Patreon. It's insane. You would Extended believe. episodes. You Extended wish episodes. you knew what we were about to say? Well, now you do. Now you Patreon. do. Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. I'm done. All right. Me too. Uh, this has been that's great. Sam, Sam and, and Rai do, do talking. talking. I'm Sam. She's right. And this we're is do done talking. talking. We're done talking. And we're this is and and we're done. And we're done. Talking. And this is the end of us talking. And I'm done. And I'm so done. I'm, I'm so, done, dude. I'm so done, dude. I'm so done, dude. I'm so freaking oh, done, dude. Oh man, I'm so freaking done. <sighs> I'm freaking toast, uh, fucking bro. Damn it, I'm so fucking done. <laughs> oh bro. fucking damn it. I oh, fucking damn it. I'm so fucking done, bro. Um, okay, bye. Bye, love you. I love you. Take it away, Mel. Everybody Ooh. loved your podcast this week. Everybody. <laughs> That's so great. Good reviews. Yeah, getting good reviews. <laughs> We're at Sam and Rye do things at everything.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Gmail, Instagram, text message if you know us, Patreon. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Email us at salmonridethings.gmail. I don't know. <laughs> All right.